Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigalos and gigalettes. It's me, Gio. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty, it is 4.27 in the p.m. today on January the 10th. Oh. Just wrapped up. Uh, I had four same-day tasks uh, request today. Four. So, eh. so when I was at my first job, we started at 10 a.m. Got a request for a uh, funny story. My second three-star task rabbit. I got a request from a, a job. It's a returning client. I, I recognize the name, and it's a it's a kind of a rare name. And I think I've had two clients name that, and the, both of them lived around the same area. So the job said moving a heavy metal frame, bed frame, to storage, and then moving another bed frame, and disassembling that, moving that down, and then taking another frame, moving up, and assembling that one. Like I said, I thought I recognized the name and the area. And I was taking a chance. I was like, I don't know if it was the one client or the other client, but I'm like, I'm, I didn't want to take a chance. That it was the first client to give me a three star for no fucking reason. So I just let that one time out. And then halfway through the job, I checked my, I checked the client app, and I went to my reviews and one, of and I checked one of the three stars, and I was like, yep, yeah, it was that client. So I'm like, I'm glad I didn't take that fucking job. Good luck. Good, good luck to whichever task I got that one. Um, then I got another same day uh, request for a pellet. I, I guess I didn't really take a good look at it because I was, I was working and I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to be on my phone at the first job. So I saw Peloton moving up to the fourth floor and I'm like, okay, no problem. Yeah, I took the job. Uh, and then I got another job, another request for a job at, um, I was like moving a whole house from one town to another out west and I was like, nah, I'm not taking it. I'm, I'm learning how to say no. So I turned that job down. And I got another request for delivery job from Skokie to downtown. And I said, how big is the item? And then they cancel on me. So I'm like, okay, sweet. So, uh, so the first job today, there was like a little bit of a lull period because we had to go to storage and he had to get everything squared away. So that's when I edited my video and I responded to the, to the one client about the Peloton. And then I noticed it said Peloton treadmill. And I Googled the treadmill and it said it weighs over 400 pounds. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and he said he's hiring a couple other guys. So I was messaging him back and forth and he's like, do you think we need four taskers? And I was like, ah, I don't think we'll need four. Let me try to get some moving straps because I don't have any. So I went to Home Depot. The staff didn't know where to find them, one. And then the one guy that didn't know where to find them, turns out they're sold out. So I got to the job around 3.20. And the other taskers there and the clients are there. And I'm trying to move it. And I'm just like, oh boy, this thing felt, it was over 400 pounds. And it was going up three, three staircases um, that were narrow. So luckily the other tasker, Anthony, I've worked with him of a good, he's probably the, I probably worked with him the most out of the good taskers. Um, he, uh, he had some straps. So what we ended up doing was we strapped, we had three ratchet straps hooked up to his dolly. And then for the first two staircases, I was at the top kind of like deadlifting it while the other two were pushing it from the bottom. And that was working it was super tight around the corners and then so that was working and then on the third staircase because my lower back was getting super tight on you know it was I was aching a bit and then I told the uh I told Anthony I'm like yo bro I think you should grab the top on this one so you know we were just kind of inching it up all the stairs over some narrow turns you know, had to take a lot of rest, a lot of rest breaks. But then when we finally got it up, uh, it was, it was that like moment of like, ah, 
<laughs> it was so relieving to get that fucking job done. Um, and it literally took an hour. It took one hour to get this 400 pound treadmill up three flights of stairs. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a three man job. And luckily Anthony had equipment. I, I don't know how we would have done it. Uh, that was, that was probably the hardest single item move I've had to do so far. <laughs> and I've got like 320 jobs under my belt, I think. I guess it all worked out. I got my hourly rate. Uh, they gave a $40 cash tip, so I made 92 bucks for an hour. But that was strenuous. Um, they hooked it up with a Gatorade, too. <laughs> uh, I mean, luckily, I was well rested for this one. If I was tired today, because my first job took four hours and 15 minutes. And it wasn't a lot of heavy lifting. Like, it was a big move. But there wasn't a lot of, like, heavy items. Just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Um, so if I was burned out for my first task, I don't know how we would have did the second one. So, yeah. Three-man job. I didn't recognize the other guy. I think he's, I think he's a little bit newer to the app. Um, but, you know, the clients were, the clients were, were thrilled. Uh, they said this was their first task. <laughs> and I remember, like, since I'm, the, since I'm the cynical voice of reason, always, I told him, I was like, how are you going to move this thing out of here? And he kind of rolled his eyes. He's like, I don't know. Because <laughs> this is the top floor of this, of this, like, townhouse. And he literally looked at me. He's like, I don't think we can move it out. And I'm like, I don't. Because they had, like, a patio. So I literally told them, I was like, you're going to need, like, a crane to get this thing out. Because if you try to move it down the stairs, it's going to demolish the staircase. And even he was like, yeah, I think that's the case. So, oh, my God, I can barely lift my left arm right now. My right arm feels okay, but. All right, guys. Yeah, uh, hardest single item job ever. <laughs> That was a motherfucker. Ah, right, man. Uh, so today was a $300 day, at least. Yeah, I, I cracked 300 so if I would've woken up on time to do lift, I probably would've cracked 400 again, two days in a row. But probably a good thing, because I needed my rest for this one, so. All right, guys, everyone please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time.